Okay, so I'm about to step on some toes. I already know that because I have already stepped on my own toes and I haven't even started yet. Here's the deal. If you want to get to the next level, if you want to be in order, if you want to march out the rest of this month, marching orders, we are planting the seeds for everything that we want to reap for the remaining nine months of the year. You must get rid of junk. You must declutter. It is absolutely positively essential. All of the extra stuff that we have lying around, that we have COVID crept up, that we have kept from ever, from forever and ever and ever. And we say we're going to use it. We're not going to lose it, so on and so forth. It is time to get rid of it all. So I have a comprehensive list just in case we are confused, just in case anybody is wondering what we need to all get rid of. OK, so we're going to go through this together and we're going to touch and agree and say amen at the end in Jesus name so we can all get this thing right. OK, here's the deal. If you think you can operate at your God-given best in the midst of clutter, you are confused and probably delusional. It is not going to happen, okay? So people who tell you, well, I operate better when it's junky. Mm -mm, no, they don't know any better. I know. I've been there, done that. When the pandemic first started, I was not prepared. I was used to being in the office on the road. So here I am at home. I got stuff everywhere on the dining room table. I'm trying to do my Zooms from the bed, Okay janky just janky all of this kind of stuff and eventually it was so much stuff i said wait i had to clear out everything from my loft i had to get new furniture i had to put my computer there I had to organize thing and oh my goodness i was able to fly so anybody who's telling you that they operate best in junk have to be a junkyard owner that's it everybody else we need to clear out the clutter so here's the deal take this time for you during the month of march and the remainder of the month, the remainder of the quarter, the remainder of whatever it's going to take and get your stuff in order. Get rid of the stuff you don't need. Get rid of the stuff you forgot about. Get rid of the stuff that you're never going to use again. I have a clue. Now, here's the thing. If you do not get rid of this stuff, you are going to block your blessings. OK, God cannot give you new stuff if you've got old stuff blocking your blessings. So here's the things that you get to keep. You get to keep important papers that cannot be scanned, like your mortgage papers, your real estate papers, your birth certificates, your passports. You get to keep all those important things. You get to keep titles to cars and other assets that you own. You're going to keep those things in a safe. You want to keep special certificates. If you got a degree, you want to keep those things. You also want to keep furniture that you use now. Let me repeat, furniture that you use now. Does anybody have a storage with all their old stuff? And you have paid more for the storage than you would have had to pay if you bought the stuff again? Raise your hand, everybody. Raise your hand if you're sure, okay? That's me. We have got to get rid of this stuff. So you're going to keep those important papers. You're going to keep the furniture that you use now. You're going to keep the clothing that you can fit, okay? You're not going to keep, that used to be a size 6, but now you're a size 16. You're not, the, the, the size 6s are either too old or too out of date. When you get back down to that size, God is going to bless you with some new money to get some new clothes on a budget. You're going to live by the 10, 10, 30, 50. The first 10% you tithe, the next 10% you save. You're going to use some of your incidental money. You're going to get some new small clothes. But for right now, you're going to get rid of the clothes that do not fit, okay? You're also going to get rid of the clothes that you have not seen, heard of, or you remembered for at least two years. If you did not did not wear it in the past two years, if you do not remember you even had it, if it was your prom dress from 1962 and it is now 2022, 20, 21, going on 22, mm -mm, we have to get rid of some of that stuff. Let me tell you what I had to get rid of. I have the dress that I wore to my honeymoon in 1995. It's like... Uh, crushed velvet first of all who is wearing that nobody's wearing that i still have that in my closet it is time for you to go all of y'all y'all got some stuff you got some alligator shoes you got some old west side pimp hats you got some uh, uh shirts with the straps and some sundresses from the hippie days now i am not seeing anything about that time but that time is over and a new time is here so we are getting rid of all clothing, the only clothing that we're going to keep, let me repeat, is the clothing that we can fit today and that we have either worn in the past two years or remember we had. Have you ever gone into your closet and forgot you had some stuff? You didn't even think about it. 
But the last time you saw it 16 years ago, you knew you needed to save it so that you could wear it when and you forgot that you said that. And when you go back and look for some other stuff that when you were finding some other stuff and you found some other stuff that you didn't really want. And now you have all this stuff. Mm -mm. We have got to move on because see, God wants to bless you exceedingly and abundantly more than you can ever ask according to his power at work in you. But the power cannot work because you are constipated with too much stuff. Too much stuff, okay? So we're getting rid of that. Here's what else we are going to get rid of. If you have not worn it since 1998, since 2008, uh, in any other year prior to 2018, you're getting rid of that. If it does not fit, get rid of it. I just have to keep repeating that because everybody who's trying to lose weight, who's trying to work out, and I know I get on the keto, I get on the Atkins, I'm working out now. That's why I got on my little tank top under here. We're going to fit all the stuff. Mm -mm. If it can't fit today, it has to go, all right? It needs to go, all right? <clears throat> now, you're going to get rid of everything else. Remember, you're only keeping the furniture that you are using now. You're only keeping your important papers, things that you cannot duplicate again, your trust, your estate plan, your mortgage, your deed, you know, all those kind of things, birth certificates, uh, degrees, you're going to keep those things. And you're going to keep the clothes that you can fit. You're getting rid of everything else, everything else. Let me tell you what everything else is, because I know you might just be confused because I was confused too. Here's everything else proclamations, invitations, salutations, greeting cards. Come on now. You get 52 greeting cards for your birthday. You put them someplace. What are you going to do with those? You got a birthday coming next year. And if you don't make it to next year, you won't need them anyway. Now, I'm not trying to be mean, but come on now. Get rid of some of that stuff, even the stuff from your, from your kids. I know your kids went to school and drew a picture. My youngest daughter, she had such a wide vocabulary. She said, Mom, I made a portrait. I was like, a portrait? I thought it was just a drawing. But anyway, I know your kids made all that stuff. But you got a house full of junk because you were trying to hold on to memories. <clears throat> I want you to remember this. We have got to remove the clutter if we want to get to the next level. So you're going to get rid of proclamations, invitations, salutations, greeting cards, report cards, programs, etc. If you are not going to scrapbook it, get rid of it. If you were not a scrapbooker before this moment, you're not going to start today. OK, this is for only people who have already started the process and they have a hobby or business of scrapbooking. You can scrapbook that stuff. But please don't tell me, well, Lynn, I'm going to scrapbook it. No, 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 no. You lying to yourself, but not to me. I want you to get rid of that stuff. OK, I'm so serious. We got to get rid of this stuff. OK, uh, if you are not already a scrapbooker, don't start now. I just had to repeat that. If you are not a celebrity. OK, everybody with your memorabilia. Your, your trophy from eighth grade, your football uh, hall of fame from your little school in Tougaloo, Mississippi, all of that stuff. Mm -mm. Come on now. I want you to do a yard sale, a, a nonprofit uh, event, sell that stuff, give it to charity or do something. If you are not a celebrity whose memorabilia is going to increase in value over time so we can create generational wealth, I want you to get rid of that stuff. Okay. Um, get rid of old clothes, old shoes, purses, pocketbooks, wedding dresses. I still had my cousin's wedding dress. She handed it down to me and my children were not going to wear that thing. Okay. They just were not going to wear that thing. I had the old wedding dress, uh, uniforms, um, get rid of all the old stuff that nobody is ever going to wear again. Now, let me tell you something about these clothes. I keep coming back to clothes because I know I'm going to step on toes. If you have to rummage around on the floor, on your hands and knees, bent over with your back halfway out, trying to find some stuff to wear that should be on a hanger, you need to get rid of some stuff. If you have a dresser, uh, a chest of drawers, a closet, several bins full of clothes, but when you need to put something on, you don't go to any of that. You have to go to a new location. Mm -mm. All of that stuff in the chest of drawers, the drawers, the the uh, wardrobe, the closet, all that stuff. You got to move that stuff out of the way and make some new room for the new stuff. OK, old clothes, old shoes, old purses, pocketbooks, wedding dresses, bridesmaid dresses. I have a bridesmaid dresses, child, uniforms, all of that stuff that nobody's going to wear again. We got to get rid of it. Take a picture and archive it if you want to remember. Okay, take a picture. 
Take a picture with your smartphone. Your smartphone can hold 10,722 trillion pictures, okay? So take a picture of all the stuff that you want to remember, and we're going to store it digitally. But we got to get rid of some of this clutter so we can go to the next level. Okay, here's what else you're going to get rid of. I know you thought I was done. Furniture, lamps, curtains, old dishes, okay? I had some dishes that I got as a wedding gift in 1995. I had those same dishes when I moved from Chicago in 2014. I had never used them. Okay? I, I wasn't going to use those dishes. Whoever gave them to me, I'm sorry. But I, I'm not going to use those things. Let me tell you what else I had in 2014. I had my college papers and graded exams from 1989. That's a problem, okay? So I told you I'm going to step on your toes, but only because I already stepped on mine, okay? We are in this together. I know you feel my pain. So furniture, lamps, curtains, dishes, uh, and don't ask me uh, or anybody else if they want the stuff you're getting rid of. Nobody wants your stuff, okay? I want you to call the Goodwill, the Salvation Army, uh, maybe go on and throw a garage sale. But one of my good friends, I'm not going to tell you who she is. Everybody knows her. She got rid of her stuff and brought it to me. And then I had stuff that I wasn't going to use. It's just still sitting around here. Uh-uh. Don't ask anybody if they want that stuff. All right. Unless you know for sure that someone is in need and they need a couch or they need a television or they need those things. Then you're going to do that. All right. So here's the other thing. Give to the unfortunate. Get rid of the clutter. Get rid of the things that are blocking your mind, blocking your blessings, blocking your creativity. I promise you, you cannot get to the next level with clutter. It is time. I know it's Friday, it's payday. We all on the Zoom and the, uh, the live with D-Nice. While you partying with D-Nice, I need you to go get decluttered. While you partying with D-Nice, I need you to go destruct some of that junk that's in your closet, that's in your bedroom, that's under the bed. Don't even get me started with the stuff that's under the bed, under the bed, under the couch. And please, everybody. Now, if you have a rodent problem, now, because I had roaches when I was a kid. We had roaches in the projects. That's just what it was, okay? And I refuse to have roaches as an adult. If you have roaches, rodents, rats, mice, Call the inspector people and get rid of the clutter. Don't leave anything for them to eat. Don't leave anything for them to nibble on. Don't leave. And you might have to move, get you some new neighbors. But it all starts with us decluttering. Cleanliness is next to godliness. God is not the author of confusion. We are. Order was here first. Now let's get it in order. Let's line up. Let's march. In Jesus' name. I'm with you. Go to askland.org for help. Bye-bye. Let's talk about real estate, real estate, real estate. Hi, I'm financial expert Lynn Richardson. You've seen me on Good Morning America, The Breakfast Club, and WVON. I'm so excited about sharing with you the Home Buyers Club. It's time for you to get the home of your dreams. No credit, no problem. Low credit, no problem. No down payment, no problem. I am excited about you getting a piece of the American dream. Join the Home Buyers Club today.